What's going on guys? It's David here with Sheep Belt Services in beautiful South Mississippi. We got little clouds in the sky. They're calling for about a 40% chance of rain. Uh, I got two commercial accounts, three residential accounts, and then I'm calling it a day and I'll be done with my routes until I pick up some more. That's going to be the plan I think is uh, I'm going to try to pick up a couple more on my days off and uh, just see what happens. I'm still waiting to hear back from uh, some of the other uh, Dang, I done lost the word I was trying to say. The other bids, there we go. Uh, I put in, but I haven't heard nothing back yet. I also put in a bid for a, a tractor supply locally around. Uh, I did that yesterday. Uh, it sh if it comes through, that'd be pretty nice. It's right around the corner as well. So it's all all right in line with each other. I try to keep everything so that uh, I'm not I'm not double backing. I'm not making you know special trips or anything like that. It's just less windshield time means more profit. So. Anyway, real quick, I got me some new shirts. I don't know if y'all seen it. I got my, my logo here and I, I got it on the back. I would show you the back, but I think that'd just be kind of a weird angle trying to show y'all. Anyway, uh, let me get this knocked out. I gotta get some stuff done. I'm running solo today. So uh, trying to beat the weather as well. So probably less talking, more working. And uh, yeah, so let me get to work. All right, y'all hang tight. All right guys, as you can see, I'm sitting here mowing, but uh, my, the camera, camera angle ain't very great. My wife got me a GoPro Hero 8 Black for Father's Day. It's an early Father's Day gift, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it and where to place it for the best angle. So, guys, I apologize for the, the quality of the video. Uh, I still hope some of y'all can enjoy it. If uh, if not, then, you know, fast forward through it. If, if so, then, you know, enjoy. If, uh, if y'all got any tips, tricks, or anything like that with the GoPro, Please leave it down below. I'm I'm wanting to learn just as much as the next person. All right. So with that, uh, I hope y'all enjoy. guys real quick while we're uh, on the way to the next lawn just got a question for some of y'all uh, how did y'all get y'all this experience to uh, start your lawn care business uh, and this stems from a guy commenting on one of my previous uh, videos a while back I did uh, how I, I think I titled it how I started my business and uh, he commented something about uh, you still didn't tell us how you got your experience and he went on like a little bit of a rant about how I didn't finish, fulfill what the video should have been about. And as I was commenting back, I was, you know, I'm thinking that's not what my video was about. It was about how I started the business, not how I gained my, my experience. So real quick, just to talk about my experience real quick. I started out, of course, cutting grass with my dad. Uh, I can remember as a little kid, my dad was on in the back part of the lawn, and uh, we had about a two-acre lot growing up. And he was in the back back side on the riding line mower cutting. And I was I was still I don't remember how old I was, but I was young enough to where if I wanted to operate the push mower, I had to put one hand on the middle bar and hold the other hand uh, hold the handle on the other hand, on the the top bar so that it, the mower wouldn't die. And I remember him being back there on the mower, cutting and me goofing off over there and I ended up starting the lawnmower by myself. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, but then I also thought, oh God, I'm gonna get in trouble. And um, then I, I went out there and I, I I waved him down on the lawnmower and he, he stopped and I asked, can I cut grass? And he goes, there's a snake in the grass. I said, no. <laughs> I want to learn. I want to cut the grass. He said, "All right, in a little bit." He finished up his little his little area that he was cutting, and he left one small section for me. And uh, he came over there, started the lawnmower up, and 
watching me the whole time and telling me, you know, how to do it, what I needed to do to make it look good and how not to miss a spot. And then uh, from there, you know, I just started cutting my, my lawn with my dad. And then my, my grandmother's place, it needed to be cut. She, she uh, had a big property with a, a big hill and it was a, man, it was, it was heck. I didn't like cutting that place. I remember today, I used to hate it. But uh, anyway, I, I cut that, I cut that lawn and then one of her neighbors down the road asked if I could cut theirs. And of course my dad told him, yeah, I could. And then, uh, let me back up, I'm not blocking that driveway. And then, anyway, so I cut hers, and then there was a lady around the corner from us that was elderly. They wanted me to cut there, and it just went from there, really. And whenever I was young and real real small, I was cutting other people's lawn. I can remember putting a weed eater and a can of gas on a riding line more once my dad started letting me use it, and riding it across town and cutting people's lawns. And that's how I got around. And then I went to high school and all, and went to the military, and I, of course I quit cutting lawns in. And then I uh, got into law enforcement, and I was working for a guy I worked with at the, at the police department, and he had his own lawn care business, and I, I just came over as an extra hand for him running the weed eater. And then he taught me a whole lot of other stuff, how to do things commercially. Uh, he's not on YouTube. He's not on anything, but I mean, he's on Instagram. Uh, anyway, he's a good guy. I can still call him today if I had any issues, and uh, I'm, he'd be there for me. But uh, that's how I got a lot of my my experience is uh, just working for other people. And uh, then I got down here where I'm at now, working for the sheriff's department, and my riding line more, my resident, my residential line ride more, you know crap the bed on me so I went and uh, I got all of my equipment and to help pay for it all I started cutting grass again and now here I am but uh, anyway I got another lawn I got to get cut and uh, I'll give you a little bit of footage, footage of it as well y'all leave down there in the in the, uh, in the comment section how you got your experience or uh, where you're at in your business as well I, I like to know that kind of those kind of things uh, also if you haven't already smash that thumbs up for me and uh, YouTube's telling me like 90% of you guys aren't even subscribed. It'd be it'd be real good for me if y'all. It would be really good for me and my and my company. I'm sorry, not my company, but my uh, YouTube channel. If y'all if y'all subscribe for me, or uh, if if not, you know it's okay. It's whatever. I'm still gonna make the videos, but I appreciate every one of you that have. Uh, but for right now, I gotta get back to work. Guys, I didn't uh, film on this one here, but I had to show y'all the stripes. It turned out great. Hope y'all enjoyed that.
got all those those lawns knocked out got those accounts taken care of got all the invoices done today i'm gonna leave you with a uh, quote from wayne gretzky you know he's a great uh hockey player uh, if, if none of y'all have don't know who he is but anyway he said you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take and whenever that how that pertains to the business I, i'll tell you what i'll give you an example of how i was last year i would ride around and i would see um different commercial accounts or commercial properties and i would sit there and i'd literally think to myself i wonder who's cutting that i wonder how much they could pay i wonder if i can get that account and then that's as far as i would go with it i would never capitalize on it and i'd never uh take the shot going in there talking to whoever I needed to talk to finding out who I needed to talk to putting in a bid and just seeing what happens so of course I never got those accounts but just as soon as I this year I told myself that uh I wasn't gonna do that that if I wanted something I was gonna go after it and I was gonna do everything I can in my power to get it and uh it's paid off I've gotten uh three different commercial accounts that equals up to four four properties one one account is for two different properties of course but uh and then also I, i've went ahead and put in a bid on two yeah i think it was just two apartment complexes and then the tractor supply and i got a couple of other ones that i've uh, put in for as well just little small uh, hometown places well guys if you don't if you don't put yourself out there and don't take those risks you're never going to you're never going to get the things that you don't go after. How about that? Nobody's going to just give something to you just because you're you. So real quick, that's, that's the end of that. But real quick, I want to say uh, I hope all the little quotes that I've been given and some of the motivational stuff that I've been saying and giving is uh, helping somebody out. If it is, let me know. Uh, also, uh, if, if it's if there's something else you want me to talk about something else you'd like to hear or something me explain something about my business that I've been doing let me know put it in the comments down below <coughs> excuse me oh I'm outside I'm at my house that's the reason I'm not covering my mouth anyway it's wrong anywho oh uh, guys if y'all like these kind of videos just Give me that thumbs up, and then uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. But until next time, y'all take it easy.